Paula, let's talk about your skills from inside of 50 yards. I know you're really good, so share with everybody at home some tips that might help them execute the same shot. Okay, perfect. So what I think about um, this shot is it's, it's easy to um, not have the best dis distance control and also people hit it fat, people hit it thin because it's such a short shot. So what I like to do is, is I like to have a, a stable lower body and, and just able to just turn through it a little bit different than I do in my longer game, right. but I feel like that's the best consistency I've got in the past. So I really just um, already set my hips kind of forward and and I'm able to just take the club up and I just I just turn through with the upper body. Okay. So a little more feel like I'm connected, not having to move the lower body while I'm swinging yeah. the, the shorter shots. So a couple things I notice when you're doing that. Um, first would be a question of like your weight distribution on your feet for these. How much okay. do you start with? How much do you feel like you have on your front foot when you hit and even into the follow through? Do you think about it like that? Um, I do not actually, but if I think about it, I probably have like 60 here, 60%, uh -huh. not much here. Uh -huh. And But you also have to make sure to still have your spine a little bit behind the ball because you don't want, and then when I turn through, it's almost like I'm always just sort of staying on the left side. Yeah, good advice. So it's an easy way to execute that shot. Let's just make sure that you hit the ground in front of the ball that way. That's really why keeping your weight on your front foot is, is yeah. really essential for short shots like this. Right, exactly. It'd be hard to do it any other way. Yeah. But some things I notice are when you do make a backswing and even do a follow through, you don't really flex your elbows very much. You no. don't extend your left wrist a lot. No, I don't. You yeah. play with the amateurs. So you're going to play with somebody today who's yeah. going to hit a 50 yard shot and it's going to look like they almost don't move their torso and just exactly. flex their elbows and wrists. Yeah. Are you going to tell them not to do that? <laughs> I'll start I'll start with it and see how it goes. <laughs> no, but, it, but that's true. And, th and that's how you just can't get the consistency on the ball. And then it, then it's hard to get distance control. Yeah. So if you go for a par five and two and you have that 30 yard shot, it should be it should be easy. You should be confident. Yeah. So you know what to do. Get it close, have a birdie putt. But sometimes people don't go for the par five and two just because they don't want that kind of yeah, shot. Yeah, that's supposed to be exactly. scary. But actually, the proximity to the hole increases across any handicap range yeah. the closer you are to the green. So whether whether someone feels comfortable or not, yes. uh, you need to get that up closer if you can. Your scores are going to be better on average. Exactly. Same thing goes for you. Right. You know that already. Right, exactly. But And is that the normal way to hit that shot? Yeah, yeah. What no, you I think what you said was great. So keep your, your yeah. weight a little bit on your front foot. Yeah. Don't really move it around. That's the first problem right. that a lot of people have. And then the structure of your arms, how you have those that address when they're pretty straight. Yeah. There's no real reason to start over flexing your trail yes. elbow or flexing your lead elbow right. through the ball. It should feel much more like you have your torso okay. controlling how far your hands are away from yeah. you and never trying to pull them in closer to you. Right, and that was probably like the stock 30, 40, 50 mm -hmm. yard shot. Yeah. And if you need to like spin it, you can, a little more wrist hinge and things That's like that. That's where bending your yes. wrist has a little more value, but it also brings in a little bit more compromise of the strike yes. if you're not good at it. You're good yeah. at that, so you can pull this off all day long. Yeah, but hopefully. someone who doesn't practice, like you see the 20 people down there on the range, exactly. they'll be out there hitting that specialty shot when really they should have one form around Just, the green. Yeah. Keep your arms straight, don't bend your wrists very yep. much and then keep your uh, weight on your front foot. Right. So hit this one. Okay. And then uh, I know this will be different than usual, but after you hit it, just hold your follow through. Okay. And then uh, Andres here, we're so gonna talk about that. So how much you want that. me to do this? I'll do your 40 or 50 40, yard okay. shot. And, then and just, I like to do with the 60. That's great. I open the face a little bit. That way I'm always using my, my bounce of my club. Yeah, that's important too. So I lean a little bit. Hold your follow through yep. on this one. So the part I like the best is how straight your right arm is. You have yeah. recocked the club or you've, you've begun uh, moving it, hinging your wrists up, yeah. but you haven't really rolled the club. No. You don't have a flexed elbow. Yep. The butt end of the club is pretty far away from you. Yeah. Um, it's about the same distance it would have been at yeah. a dress. Those mm -hmm. are important traits. Yeah, exactly. Almost like a three o'clock to nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. You should be a teacher. You're good at that. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks for having, thanks thank for uh, so hanging much. out with us here, Paul. All right. Thank you.